Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and if you're a fan of bumper cases, particularly grippy bumper cases, you might want to check out the new Dynamic Defender by the company Telefont. This bumper for the iPhone 8 Plus offers military drop test standard protection. It has a lovely grippy exterior and a very slimline profile. Let's look a little bit more closely at this interesting product on my silver iPhone 8 Plus. Looking at the composition of the Dynamic Defender bumper, what we have here is a bumper that's made of three main materials. We have a air steel core. This is some sort of special steel that they've come up with. I don't really know the details on it. They're not really clear on their Kickstarter page, but it is a nice extra protective type of steel. This gives the whole thing a degree of rigidity and firmness. Then that is all wrapped in a medical grade silicone material that they say is non-toxic and super wonderful. This gives gives it also a nice amount of grip um, and a sort of soft feel in the hand. Feels really quite pleasant. And then all of that is covered in a nano layer of a special sort of paint that is supposed to repel stains. So there you go. Overall this has a nice feel, good amount of rigidity, seems like it should be reasonably protective. So putting the Dynamic Defender on your 8 Plus is really pretty straightforward. Simply just put the one side in and then clip on your other corners. One thing that you do need to do once you get it on is to make sure that everything clips on correctly. Sometimes you get like a little bit of the silicone that gets uh, tucked underneath. This doesn't look like it happened here, so that's good, but sometimes I've noticed it particularly down in the port opening area. So you gotta make sure everything goes on okay. Once on, um, everything is actually very tightly fitting on here. You got very tight fit on the sides and a tight fit on the bottom. They've done a really good Good job in that respect. In terms of the amount of lip that we have, we've got a good amount of lip on here, both on the front and on the back, like you'd expect. Bumper cases are supposed to always have a degree of lip on the back as well. Particularly, you want to protect your um, fragile glass back with the iPhone 8 Plus. Keep in mind, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. This is the Zag Glass Plus, for those of you that are curious. Fits just fine with our Dynamic Defender bumper. So looking at our port openings, your speaker and your microphone area are well protected, nicely inset, as is your lightning port opening. Um, this is a pretty small lightning port opening. It's going to fit obviously just fine with your standard lightning cable that comes from Apple, but I think that there are probably a good number of third-party cables that are not going to fit with this because of the size of the opening, so do be aware of that. Going around to the side, it's got a great grip on this case. It feels really nice underneath the hands. Definitely doesn't feel slippy at all. Buttons are nice and clicky, no issues there. Our mute switch opening could be larger. Um, it's fine at the bottom and fine on the sides, but it's really kind of tight at the top, so you have to really kind of get your fingernail in there in order to access it. You can um, easily push it up, but uh, getting it into the mute position can take a little bit of finagling, so do be aware of that. And going over here to your power button, no problems there. Going to the back, I think that this looks really beautiful with my silver iPhone 8 Plus. I do like this blue color with it. We do have sufficient protection for the camera, just exactly enough. You're perfectly fine as long as you put this on a flat surface, completely flat surface. It's not going to touch, but obviously if it's a somewhat rough surface, then I definitely would not trust that to be giving sufficient protection for that protruding camera. But as long as you're perfectly flat, you're perfectly fine. So... Everything looks great. As I said, we got a nice amount of lip that's protecting the back of your beautiful glass iPhone. And everything looks lovely and feels really good with this case. We do have some branding over here for Telefont. That's the name of the company and their little elephant logo. It's really kind of cute. The big question that everyone probably has, or at least a lot of the people that follow my channel might have, is how does this compare with the Rhino Shield bumpers, the Crash Guard and the Mod? Well, I don't have a Crash Guard here with me, but I do have the Mod. So the Mod is basically the same size-wise as the Crash Guard, really, really similar. So I think it's a good thing to compare with. 
Um, the Rhino Shield bumper, for those of you that are not familiar, the Mod and the Crash Guard both have 11 feet of drop protection um, and a nice slim profile, just like the Dynamic Defender we've been looking at just now. However, they do have quite a bit more drop protection at 11 feet of drop protection. The company is Rhino Shield, um, and uh, they have really quite a good reputation for their products. So if you look at these together, you can see that they are extremely similar in terms of size. Lined right up, I believe that the uh, Dynamic Defender is very, very slightly taller and maybe a tiny, tiny bit uh, less wide. But other than that, I mean, basically, if you just look at them, you'd say that, yeah, it's basically the same size of bumper. So where do they differ? Well, <laughs> two really important ways. Actually, three, but the two really basic ones are the fact that this has got grip and this doesn't. Um, I love Rhino Shield's products. I think they're absolutely fantastic, but both the Mod and the Crash Guard bumper are on the slippery side, in my opinion. And as I keep on mentioning, this Dynamic Defender by Telephone is not, definitely not slippery. In terms of protection, well, now here, this is an area where the Rhino Shield products would definitely win out. Both the Mod and the Crush Guard bumper have 11 feet of drop protection, which is a whole lot. Whereas at least at this point, the Dynamic Defender is being advertised as having mil spec protection, which is your four feet of protection. Now they've done drop tests and they've got one posted on their Kickstarter page for an eight foot drop, but they're not advertising it as having that level of drop protection. It could be that this one is going to evolve to saying that it has as much protection as your uh, Rhino Shield mod case, but at least at this point it doesn't. The final areas in which these two bumpers differ from one another is in the size of their port openings and their fit on the phone itself. So as I mentioned before, the Dynamic Defender has a pretty small lightning port opening. The one that is on the mod is much more generous. Same is true for the mute switch opening, again much smaller on the Dynamic Defender as opposed to the one on the mod. However, one area that I think the Dynamic Defender really shines in is its fit on the phone. So it has a really tight fit on the sides of the phone, as I mentioned before, really, really nice tight fit. And the Crash Guard and the Mod, both of them, have a relatively looser fit on the phone. It all seems to stay on just fine, but if you actually pull at the sides, they do flex away. So I guess it all depends upon what you are looking for in a bumper case. They all have their uh, pros and cons, and I think both of them are actually excellent products. Again, we've been looking at the Dynamic Defender by Telefont for iPhone 8 Plus. This case is also compatible with the iPhone 7 Plus and comes in a total of four colors. You have the cowboy blue shown here on my iPhone 8 Plus in silver, really nice color combo. We also have a midnight blue color shown on my iPhone 7 Plus in matte black. Really looks nice with that as well. There's also a dark gray and a rose pink option available. And these are all available on their Kickstarter page right now. The Kickstarter has met its goal, which is great, but there are still some packages available. I think they're starting at about $17 right now. So if you're interested, you might want to go over there and check it out. For those of you that are curious, this case also will come in an iPhone 7 and 8 version as well as one for the iPhone 10. Many thanks to the kind folks at Telefont for sending me out these samples to review. So if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them and if you're interested in subscribing hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more great accessories for iPhone 8 plus yet to come again this case is the dynamic defender for iPhone 8 plus and iPhone 7 plus and I thank you very much for watching this is Kristen have a wonderful day